News Channel 8 is your local election headquarters. Tonight, another staff shakeup in the governor's presidential campaign. This time, it's at the top. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean has more from Tallahassee. Three revamps this early on in any campaign isn't a good sign. And now political experts are questioning whether it's the campaign or the candidate. First, the campaign shed more than a third of its staff. And Tuesday, DeSantis shaking up what's left of it. His chief of staff, James Uthmeyer, now in the mix. He'll take over for current campaign manager, Janera Peck, who's getting demoted. Uthmeyer is needed where it matters most, stated the campaign Tuesday, working hand in hand with Janera Peck and the rest of the team. The pivot comes at a trying time for the campaign. Under Peck's leadership, polls have slipped, cash has dried up, and his message doesn't look to be landing with voters, leaving some wondering, will doubling down with Uthmeyer make a difference? So it seems like a really suspect decision to actually select a campaign manager that's never had any experience running a campaign and is actually the lead architect in these culture wars. It's not going to play well with donors, it's not going to play well with the voters, and I think it's going to be a failed reload. But even if Uthmeyer's strategies are sound, other political experts caution DeSantis could be the problem, not his people. At the end of the day, it's about the candidate. And if voters aren't happy with DeSantis, if they're not getting behind his campaign, a campaign manager can't really do anything about that. Those with the governor's chief rival and clear front runner, former President Donald Trump, took the chance to pounce Tuesday. Trump's PAC saying in a statement, quote, Ron DeSantis has already delivered a political hat trick today, and it's only lunchtime. The only problem, all three goals were scored on himself. Now with this reconstruction underway, Governor DeSantis' next big chance to make an impression on voters will be at the Iowa State Fair this weekend. That's latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Libby Dean, 8 on your side.